Welcome to another episode of The Brand Called You, a video and podcast show that brings you leadership lessons, knowledge, experience, and wisdom from hundreds of successful individuals from around the world. Today, I'm delighted and privileged to welcome Laura Jadurukak from New York to the show. Laura, welcome to the show. Thank you. Really honored to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Laura is the founder and CEO of Women for Solutions, which is an NGO that is co-creating the caring economy. She's the principal CEO of Dolium Wines, and she's a social entrepreneur and an impact investor. So Laura, tell me, what would you say are three key milestones in your career or your life? Well, um, I guess the first one was when I... Um, I was, uh, I realized that uh, I'm dyslexic mm -hmm. and dyslexia is, uh, a, is it's, uh, you know, now well, I'm 58 mm -hmm. and I'm, I can tell you that was a gift. Mm -hmm. When I was dyslexic and I was in first grade, I couldn't read, I couldn't write, mm -hmm. uh, I had to repeat the grade. So what that gave me is an incredibly and impeccable focus on working hard and and because for you know somebody would need to uh, read me uh, understand the letter a and take a few minutes mm -hmm. i would take a, a whole year to learn the letter a mm -hmm. so i knew i had to do a hundred times more than everybody else correct and so this has led me uh, to be a, even though against the odds i i studied law in in argentina mm -hmm. then and, and so that was the biggest milestone. I think that has really uh, given a, me another characteristic, mm -hmm. not only working hard, but also focusing on things that matter. Okay. I, who I admire most and is uh, Gandhi. Mm -hmm. uh, when I read up his biography, I was so, in, uh, so touched because he said he could not talk to people mm -hmm. or, or express things until he would talk to his uh, from his heart mm. and be inspired by what mattered mm. and and so um, that's how i started to move into being more purposeful okay uh, okay and so those are the two things yeah wonderful so you know uh, laura when i was reading about you you were a senior corporate lawyer trained in argentina and then india and the us and then you decided to move into the social sector or development sector or an NGO. What made you make this change? <laughs> Several things. Mm -hmm. So by, by then, I had worked for practically 15 years in Wall Street. Mm -hmm. And I loved it. I worked very hard. I made good money. Mm -hmm. But I had two kids, two and four. Mm -hmm. and, and then I had a husband. And basically... I got my aha moment that I could not do everything, mm -hmm. but not because uh, I came by inspiration, it came because I had cancer. Mm -hmm. And so suddenly I had to stop everything. Okay. And so, and I said, you know, my life is now for my kids because, you know, I can die in a few weeks, yeah. months, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And so I took care of that. And then I reconsidered myself and I mm -hmm. said, okay, what do I do now? Um, and so I started be, you know, with what I saved and what I did, I could make a difference as an impact investor, but this is 20, 20 yeah, 15 years ago. Approximately. Amazing. And then you decided to set up women for solutions. Yes. So <laughs> tell me about what you do in this venture. Well, it, uh, you know, as all things happen because there is a need. And when there's a need and, and nobody's taken care of, it's that where I fall in. I mean, I always think that the universe brings you those uh, aha moments because it's necessary. And mm -hmm. uh, because I, I can see myself, I'm, uh, I'm very purpose driven. Mm -hmm. I truly believe that, uh, and my spirituality brings me that. I am a, I think I've, I, I've worked enough, so I have a good, a good uh, a financial background, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, also that brought me to um, 
to become very sustainable through my company in, in, uh, okay. in uh, volume, mm -hmm. through the, you know, becoming a B certified mm -hmm. company, highly social, environmentally sustainable. Mm -hmm. And I realized that uh, women uh, that focus on sustainability mm -hmm. and a, a, m actually 75% of women worldwide, mm -hmm. uh, um, sorry, 75% of NGO that are taking care of the environment are mm -hmm. women. Okay. And, and then also the fact that a, when you are a sustainable company, mm -hmm. uh, who benefits? Mm -hmm. Again, the environment and gender. Correct. gender uh, diversity hmm. and so because circumstances brought me to create this this uh, movement hmm. of women and uh, we believe that uh, uh, our our vision is uh, to co-create the caring economy uh, and build an inclusive and regenerative society and that's okay. our purpose okay so help me understand what you mean by a caring economy <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. I love that question. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. We all are born with a need to care. Correct. When, uh, when uh, you asked Margaret Mead, the um, anthropologist, mm -hmm. how did society, civilization start? Mm -hmm. And she said, very simple. Mm -hmm. When we found a broken uh, femur bone, the biggest mm -hmm. uh, bone of the body, that was healed. Okay. Means somebody needed to take care of that person for at least six months. Mm -hmm. Our kids need to care for a few years before mm -hmm. they can be launched. A mm -hmm. few many years, mm -hmm. and so a society as a as a humanity, uh, our essence is to care for others. Mm -hmm. And so the principles of uh, uh, of um, of the caring um, economy mm -hmm. is to value at least for what we're doing as Women for Solutions, is to value and to make visible mm -hmm. uh, three things, the, uh, four things. The care of the environment, mm -hmm. the care of work of people. Mm -hmm. Care of work, I mean care of kids, care of the elder, care of the uh, sick, care of the environment, as I mm -hmm. mentioned. Mm -hmm. And the importance of uh, the, four, the third pillar is the importance of high quality, a childhood education because mm -hmm. when we are between three and ten year old is when mm -hmm. our neuro uh, according to neuroscience and psychology is when our views and our most important principles and, and biases are created mm -hmm. so uh, we need to as a humanity we need to take care of that a uh, part of that air a time of our, 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 of our of our society because mm -hmm. we want at 18 to have good a uh, solid citizen mm -hmm. and then uh, reskilling is another thing we need to reskill ourselves obviously not only on digital world mm -hmm. but on social emotional mm -hmm. learning mm -hmm. and then the, th the fourth pillar is transparency and metrics mm -hmm. because we need to measure uh, the well-being of people or authentic well-being and regeneration of the environment okay. in an authentic way because whatever you measure you change and you can actually improve very interesting. So give me an example. Supposing you come across, a, a, you know, a place where children are not getting the kind of education that you have in, in your own standards. Do you take over that, uh, that area or do you get involved or do you fund them or do you have volunteers? How would you handle that? Well, thank you for that question. I, I wish I had a, unlimited funds to do that. Mm -hmm. But I, I do have unlimited energy. Okay. And so... Let's say um, what I've done in Argentina, I truly believe social emotional learning is fundamental. Okay. So we, I'm part of an organization called Think Equal. Mm -hmm. uh, Think Equal has uh, now uh, an incredible impact. What, mm -hmm. they, what uh, Think Equal does is we provide a very economic um, teachings uh, for kids mm -hmm. three to a seven-year-old, eight-year-old mm -hmm. on social emotional learning. Okay. Boys and girls need it. Mm -hmm. And that's when, I, and so they can, not only the teacher teaches this, these uh, very simple um, 
curriculum, mm -hmm. but also then the kids, when they learn it at home, at school, they can learn, teach it at home. That mm -hmm. is maybe where the most biases are created. Okay. So we incorporated that, uh, that method, that, um, uh, through that, that uh, NGO, mm -hmm. I think people uh, in, um, in, and we have an off, a, a center in, in India, in, in, in Mexico, okay. in Europe, uh, in North America, mm. in Latin America. We have a lot of okay. friends in Africa. Wonderful. So, you know, you, and I'm going to quote you, you said, I believe in the power of business and the markets to solve the greatest problems facing humanity. Now, you said you are on Wall Street. Is that something you brought from the learnings of Wall Street into the NGO world? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So help me understand this comment. So basically, when um, if leaders, uh, and I think COVID has really accelerated this, now leaders who want to uh, who want to persist in their in, in, in who want to survive in this mm -hmm. in this world mm -hmm. uh, need to be uh, servant leaders, purpose mm -hmm. leaders. Sure. That means that are selfless in the sense that they're not thinking just on making money for the next quarter mm -hmm. or increasing the number of the, the, the share price, mm -hmm. because that will come alone. What come, what they need to focus is on when they make a decision mm -hmm. is to think, is that decision going to affect the environment and how, mm -hmm. uh, if that is a decision, how it will affect their employees, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the community where they operate. Mm -hmm. And so then it would be a much larger than life. Companies cannot just exist to make money okay. and to have products that are just going to destroy the environment or people's uh, health. Mm. Okay. And so th that's the new way of... Fantastic. Of, uh, Fantastic. Yeah. So, you know, as you look at the way you are building, uh, you know, Women for Solutions, tell me what are some of the core values you believe in? Well, our core values are awareness of mm -hmm. what is a women about what is um, the caring economy. Those mm -hmm. four principles. Mm -hmm. We are advocates. Mm -hmm. We believe in abundance. Mm -hmm. There is a action-oriented collaboration, co-creation, care, and responsibility. Okay. And I say abundance because there is enough for everybody in the world. We mm -hmm. just have to be responsible. Mm -hmm. Just look at the abundance we've had since COVID, suddenly billions of dollars have been put in the hands of, uh, of the government to actually improve our health mm. or, or potential getting sick. Yeah. So what has happened in the last, let's say 50 years, mm. just to say, mm. uh, regarding environment where every single government could say, no, we're going to make sure that that plant is stopping that production. Mm -hmm. Or if they continue, they have to pay a, a heavy taxes mm -hmm. because that is ruining the river next to them. Okay. Why are those things not done? Mm -hmm. But when, how is it that a government and all the governments worldwide suddenly within 24 hours can stop our practically all people's liberties mm -hmm. and, and do all these things and spend all these billions? when they could have done this Correct. towards the health, you know, of, of people long time ago. Mm. So it's yeah. good to have yeah. COVID. Well, one of the other things that they also say about the positive thing about COVID is that because of the lockdown for so many months and uh, so many weeks and months, nature has given, has had time to correct herself <laughs> and has been able to improve the world without any intervention from humans. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So let's move to the next uh, part of our discussion, which is on Dolium Wines. I just assumed it was a family business. Yes. It and was a uh, so would you like to talk about it and uh, how you're associated with it? Well, it was my father who started. It was his dream to do, uh, to create a winery was, uh, that was uh, sustainable. This is 27 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so he built the whole winery underground so that mm. he didn't have to use uh, electricity because oh, wow. in Mendoza, 
it's very hot during the day, very cold during your night. So mm-hmm. refrigerator is very refrigeration is very important in mm-hmm. in uh, in our tanks and so forth. So it was uh, built underground, mm-hmm. and so that uh, has helped us and saved us a lot of money. Uh, now with the technology, we use solar panels and. Um, we are, you know, we don't use pesticides. Mm. We use natural uh, products. Mm-hmm. And um, so we are, uh, we believe that every single winery that wants to produce good wine uh, can be totally sus- uh, sus- responsible towards the environment. Very interesting. And is this normal in Argentina that we have underground uh, uh, wineries or? Uh, okay. No, <laughs> we are the only one. It's You're quite expensive one. to do. It must be, because I've never heard of, Anything like this uh, anywhere in the world? No, no, no. There is a, one of the biggest uh, uh, Italian uh, wineries, mm-hmm. uh, Mondavi, has a, a, they built the winery inside a rock, in, nice. sorry, inside a, a mountain. Uh-huh. And, and so, uh, and again, they use that concept of, uh, uh, because remember, the, how did people in ancient time keep mm. cool their wines and mm. oils? Mm. by doing by putting everything underground mm. and our the name of our winery is dolium dolium mm. means anfora and the anfora uh, with the, this shape mm. Mm. was uh, pointed because it was always put under the earth Correct. to keep the, their their freshness and mm. and in high interesting. end very interesting so laura you know a little while ago you spoke about gender diversity and uh, you know you're leading a very very powerful organization for women all over the world there's a lot of talk of gender diversity there's a lot of talk of inclusiveness i want your perspective on is it really happening and if not what should be done well that's a very interesting question i i i love this question mm-hmm. what's the current situation i think that um I truly believe in the energy of the world. Okay. I think that for the last uh, maybe 10,000 years, mm-hmm. uh, we've had a very a, a young or masculine way of dealing with things Correct. that is uh, uh, success, win-win, mm-hmm. violence, and lots of things so that uh, we are where we are now. That is mm-hmm. wonderful. Technology, mm-hmm. everything. Sure. But I think... Uh, the world needs to shift now, now that we have all these incredible, beautiful mm-hmm. uh, things that allow millions of people to go without hunger, mm-hmm. uh, to be vaccine, to have a health, you know, to understand what is good or not good. And so uh, now uh, we are shifting worldwide towards a more yin type of, uh, of society, mm-hmm. where, as I mentioned before, uh, leaders have more soft skills in mm-hmm. their approach towards uh, uh, businesses okay. and uh, there's a lot a very strong movement of through let's see UN women mm-hmm. and many organizations are saying okay what can I do about about having more women in my in my business mm-hmm. uh, what can what flexibility can we have to the fact that women uh, you know are the ones that have a uterus Mm -hmm. And so when they have a kid, they need at least three or four years to, uh, to be out of the work and and then come back. But then Mm -hmm. when they come back, generally they're not, um, they don't have the same treatment as, as uh, they were not, they did Mm -hmm. not leave uh, Mm -hmm. uh, work. Mm -hmm. And so I think uh, the paradigms of how we're going to deal with, with, um, with work uh, in the work environment will be shifting uh, and with COVID and everything, we are moving more forward toward valuing the caring economy. Mm-hmm. We have seen that the 85% of the healthcare workers worldwide are women, mostly underpaid or, un- mm-hmm. or not paid. And so that has to move forward. Correct. We need to understand care for the health is very important. We need to ha- know that all this homeschooling, uh, all these educators, uh, home I don't, uh, that were not uh, that the parents had to take care. Mm-hmm. They said, you know what? It's not easy to educate, and it's so important. The same with uh, parenting. Mm-hmm. Now, many parents, fathers or mothers who were working, see mm-hmm. it's not easy to to care for a child. 
Correct. at the very Correct. beginning of that. So Correct. I think that everybody is, there's a, there's a movement of more consciousness. As mm -hmm. you said, we were all secluded at home. Now we, we have more consciousness of what's going on, more mm -hmm. time to really focus on what matters. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. So I'm now going to move to the last segment of our conversation, which is some questions for you personally. So Laura, you know, successful lawyer, achieved a lot, runs a very successful wine company, great NGO. From where you sit today, <laughs> what does success mean to Laura? Success means um, carrying forward a fulfilled life. Mm -hmm. Meaning it's not just about, uh, you know, when I was a lawyer, it was just about making money and having no time for anything. Mm -hmm. And so now I believe in a wake up, mm -hmm. uh, maybe to 10 minutes of meditation, exercise for at least half an hour, mm -hmm. and then do a few other things in my morning rituals. Mm -hmm. I try to get up at 5 a.m. every day mm -hmm. so that I can really, uh, my morning two hours are most beautiful moment of the day. Mm -hmm. And so me, to be able to do that and then have the full day of work is a, is a, is a, is, um, is is key, and that is for me success. Amazing. And being able to spend time with family, with friends, and being able to make an impact in 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 the work, make a difference. Fabulous. I have therefore a follow-on question, and I think you already answered one part of it. Is that who or what inspires you? And you did mention Mahatma Gandhi initially, but. Who or what has inspired you? Well, I think that um, Mahatma has been my biggest inspiration throughout mm -hmm. my life, reading okay. many of his biographies, mm -hmm. trying to understand what he's done, his uh, belief on nonviolence, his mm -hmm. belief on uh, Satya. Satya uh, Gray, yeah. Yes, and Satya all those. Yeah. Satya and so mm -hmm. then... I, I truly believe he's been a, a, a major source of inspiration. Mm -hmm. And then there's a lot of women out there like Marie Curie. Mm -hmm. And um, and now, uh, and today there's uh, hundreds of other women who are really uh, creating and making a difference. Mm -hmm. All these unknown women, uh, especially now you find out that uh, uh, the... Uh, DNA was discovered by a woman mm -hmm. uh, and then men took it over and, and got the Nobel Peace Prize. Mm -hmm. And so basically, uh, all, all the COVID vaccine mm -hmm. was really this analysis of, of a woman that for mm -hmm. 30 years has been working on, on the mm -hmm. protein. Um, so basically, uh, I, I, I feel very confident that women and men can lead a, a hand by hand in a corporation. Mm -hmm. well, absolutely. A corporation. Absolutely. And, right. uh, Absolutely. I mean, women are 50% of the world and there's no reason why there should be any difference in the two halves at all. Can I say a small story yes, of that course. gives you an idea of why mm -hmm. I'm doing? Uh, let's pretend we are in the Olympus and the Greek uh, goddesses make mm -hmm. uh, a challenge for all uh, the nations of the world. Mm -hmm. And the challenge is to successfully lead, uh, lead that nation to a better uh, better life, mm. better world. So nation number one mm. decides that their way of dealing with it is to have everybody run as fast as they can to reach to that unknown goal. Mm -hmm. uh, within a few uh, minutes, hours, they start to lose their kids, their, their mm. family, their members. Uh, they Nobody can get get forward and they, they start to lose energy. Mm -hmm. Station number two, uh, they, they decide that men should be always running first. Mm -hmm. Women should take care of the kids and the elderly and the sick and then help the men keep going. Mm -hmm. And then in that society, suddenly conflicts arises because women also want to run Correct. and be at the par mm -hmm. and want to, uh, they don't want to always be taking care of the kids mm -hmm. while the men are running. Mm. Society number three, uh, or sorry, yeah, country number three, that was kind of lagging behind but was mm. taking space, uh, society, uh, uh, a country where both men and women cooperated together to, do, uh, to equally bring forward mm. the whole nation together, yeah. uh, sick 
and old and children mm. and 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 that has that what it does it led to incredible uh, respect and mm. uh, and cooperation mm. and 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 a real purpose to move forward so you can imagine which nation won i uh, agree i agree and the, you know in in india we've always had some of the most powerful god goddesses of our, of hinduism are women and yes. we've always had a, a very very high place of respect for women in in my, in my country certainly so i i don't i'm going to be i'm running out of time but maybe i'm going to ask you one more question and this question is that if you laura were a role model to millions of children who closely followed you and your life choices what is the one thing you would change in yourself because as children and change in myself mm -hmm. well um i have not thought about that but okay. i can say that mm -hmm. if i um i lead a very spiritual life mm -hmm. and so maybe i would uh, i would be more uh something that i i i am not great at is uh, social media i'm mm -hmm. not good at i'm not good at at transmitting that i mm -hmm. like to lead from the back mm -hmm. and so uh maybe i should be more um more open with what i believe okay. and and give more examples and and be more um out there and have Wonderful. you know now with covid you know you can really uh influence uh, people by sharing how what is fulfillment what is mm. a, a balanced life mm. very well said laura thank you so much it's been such a pleasure speaking to you i wish you lots of success with women for solutions and everything else that you're doing thank you thank you an honor to be here thank you thank you thank you for listening to the brand called you video cast and podcast a platform that brings you knowledge experience and wisdom of hundreds of successful individuals from around the world do visit our website www.tbcy.in to watch and listen to the stories of many more individuals you can also follow us on youtube facebook instagram and twitter just search for the brand called you